Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to take you to Saigon, Vietnam. Saigon was the capital of Vietnam before 1975. I think from 1945 into 1975 and after the Vietnam War, which is uh, in 1976, Hanoi became the capital of Vietnam until now or currently. So today video, I would like to review one of my favorite hotel of Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City and the hotel is called Landmark 81. As you can see right now, that is the outside shot of the Landmark 81. The Landmark 81, it was the tallest um, skyscraper uh, of Southeast Asia from 2018 until 2023. In a little bit, I will tell you which is now the current tallest uh, skyscraper of Southeast Asia. All right. Um, and also throughout this video, I will tell you why I like this hotel so much. And also that, um, um, you know, it's my favorite hotel to stay whenever I travel to Saigon, Vietnam. So let's get into today's video. Once again, this is the shot from outside of the building of the Landmark 81. By the way, the Landmark 81, the reason it called 81, as you easily guess, because there's 81 floors, okay? And there is another beautiful shot outside of the Landmark 81 at night time. So this Landmark 81 is located on the wet side of the Saigon River okay so that is another beautiful shot at night time at night time the beauty lit up very beautiful and um, each season or different uh, months or different week or even different night they had different light outside of the building all right so now let's get into inside of the hotel I want to introduce you the room first and then we will talk more about this hotel throughout this video okay so let's get into it so right now I'm inside of the room so this is not a suite however this is the the tallest um, floor for hotel or for um, residential for for staying right so the 81 floor however the tallest of uh, floor to stay for the hotel is 63rd and right now we stay on the 63rd floor at the corner all right so right now you see that in front you're looking east right now which is the saigon river so once again this landmark 81 uh, tower or hotel is on the west bank of the saigon river all right here is the spacious uh bathroom okay they have a standing shower on one side and the other side is the bathtub okay and um so this is the 63rd floor um and this is just a regular room however we got um uh, you know they gave us the corner room so a very very beautiful view it's like 270 degree view um, there's a beautiful um, small boat harbor a few small little yacht a boat down there so once again the room is not big it's just a regular room it's not uh, it's not uh, a suite I heard the suite is much bigger uh, I will talk about that just a little bit so we have a special welcome treat so they gave us like three bars of dark chocolate and two fresh coconut uh, with a personal welcome note from the general manager so for the people uh, i did the video in the past that um when we travel we usually stay at the marriott because we are member of the Marriott Bonvoy. Okay, so I did talk about the Marriott Bonvoy 
program in the past video if you haven't watched please watch i think the very first video when i review about the green um the shaitan four point in da nang where we stay when we first moved to da nang vietnam we stayed there for a week all right so once again that's a beautiful view and uh, surrounding the building that's a, the Vinhome uh, Central Park and we'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit later so that is just the room just simple king bed with two nice thin night TV very beautiful view with the chair you could enjoy the beautiful view all right and throughout the day they keep giving us like a sweet treat too you see that three little sweet treat they give it to us throughout the day very nice carpet too all right so now let's talk about the hotel here very quick so the landmark 81 it was the tallest uh building in southeast asia from 2018 to 2023 before that uh, from uh, 1998 into 2018 the tallest building in Southeast Asia it was the Patrona Tower actually I should say the Patrona Twin Tower in Malaysia in KL Kuala Lumpur okay the Patrona Tower um, I think it his height it 452 meters the 88 floors however the total height is only 452 uh, meter this landmark 81 is only 81 flower I mean 81 floors however the total height is 10 meter tall I think it's 462 meters okay and it was this landmark Tower. It was the tallest from um, from 2018 until 2023. However, uh, of this past year 2023, another tower, which is the Modica uh, 118, or they call the KL 118 Modica 118. It means 118 floors. It's also in Malaysia in KL Kuala Lumpur. And the total height is almost 680 meters. And now, currently, it is the tallest building in Southeast Asia and is also the second tallest building in the world. After the tallest building in the world right now, which is the Burj in Dubai, or they call um, Khalifa, a Burj in Dubai, which is, uh, I think, like 800. 30 meter tall um, it's like over 2700 feet tall okay that's in Dubai all right so a little bit history of this building of the high um, skyscraper buildings in Southeast Asia or in Asia in general all right um, so this uh, being um, the the landmark 81 here uh, the the parent company is called Vin Group. So the people are not familiar with Vin Group. Vin Group is the largest uh, company, a private company here in Vietnam. It has so many sectors of business, include hospitality. When you see Vin Per, that's a very upscale, uh, you know, hotel throughout Vietnam. They also have Vin Homes, which is the largest um, real estate developer in Vietnam. They also also have VinFast, which is the the elect electrical vehicle, and I think they just had the first dealership in um, in Tennessee, uh, in uh, USA. They also have, you know, so many uh, VinCom, which is like commercial malls and things like that, and VinMart, which is grocery convenience store. So there's so many sectors, a uh, business sector that this. Company being group 
own and one of this right here they own which is the condo hotel so this condo hotel the first five floor is just the malls right uh, so it has so many luxury uh, retail for example a money exchange rolex and there's so many um, you know restaurants and there's a huge supermarket also in this uh, condo hotel they also have a very nice uh, um, skating ring uh, in this uh, condo hotel too um, so that including the first uh, five floor and I think from the six to the 42nd floor that is for residential that's a condo section and from 43rd into 63rd that is for the hotel guests okay and right now we stay on the 63rd floor at the corner room all right and um so for the marriott bonvoy um so um the vin uh, per or uh, the condo hotel of the vin group here uh they had the program what the marriott they had the program called the autographed collection so for the autograph collection which is the marriott international portfolio so what does it mean is that the marriott try to partner with some independent hotel so they give is uh, marriott clients you know um more experience with some you know luxury upscale unique hotel so that's why they partner with the with the independent hotel around the world and um, and this program the autograph collection here they start back in 2010 however in 2022 which is like less than two years ago vietnam or actually the vin uh, group or the vin per hotel of the vin group this is the first time uh, from vietnam they partner with the autograph collection from the marriott uh, bonvoy or the marriott hotel change so they let the marriott to manage uh, you know the hotel since we are member of the marriott bonvoy and then we could stay here um and use the marriott bonvoy points okay and one of the reason that we like to stay here because of the value so normally when you stay if we pay cash for this room I think it's about 280 US dollar per night and this is just the regular um, you know season there's no high demand season it is in the summer when we stay here in the summer um, of 20 of last year 2023 we only stay here for two nights only so normally when we use in points so just say that um, 10,000 points equal to it luckily it equal to a hundred US dollar um, so this one if we pay cash it $280 it should equal to 28,000 points but however when we try to book this hotel by points for two nights it's only 22,000 points per night and two nights only 44,000 and that's the reason we booked this one because for the value because sometimes 44,000 points you travel like in um, in Europe or even in US you might only get for one night for like a three star or four stars hotel okay and this amazing amazing uh, five star hotel here is only twenty two thousand dollars I mean twenty two thousand points per night and once again if you pay cash is um, two hundred eighty dollars a night and so when we book this one and we are uh, titanium level which is the second highest level of the merit one boy oh uh, i think you only be a gold member when you book a room um, to Marriott Bonvoy if the suite is available they will upgrade that to you to a suite subject to um, its av availability however when we book this you know when we check in they say the suite is not available however we will able to upgrade you to the highest floor of the hotel which is on the 63rd floor okay so we're thankful for that which is great As you can see the view it is so so beautiful once again that you're looking 
is right now of the uh, of the Saigon River and there is just the outside shot of the central uh, the Vinhome Central Park there's so many condos and apartments that are also built by the Vin Group as you can see right there all right so now let's take it to you introduce you the food it's amazing delicious food so right now is you stay here the breakfast is include and the breakfast here is so yummy it's high quality and there's so many options okay so when you enter the breakfast room that is the sweet treat you know like croissant and you know all the sweet cakes and here is the food section there's so many of them and here is the milk and the yogurt fresh organic milk yogurt and here is the bread station that's the yogurt and the bread right there all right and this is the the pancake make fresh to order okay one of the things that feel really love it here because they do have a lot of uh, not just the vietnamese or the asian cuisine section but they also have the western section too because sometimes feel you know like want to you know when he miss when he travels so many in asia he miss the western food sometimes and he eat this uh the the noodle soup section the has noodle soup section here and it vary each day okay and one of the soup the national vietnamese soup is called the pho uh, that's the special restaurant where the you know you don't have to stay at the here to eat there so that right there is at benefit um, and ex benedict benedict uh, station and feel love it so so much all right and that is also not the western corner where the bacon sausage and you know um what is that called beans and grilled tomatoes things like that all right and there's a porridge uh, soup with all the different um condiments like uh, shredded pork or chicken and with dry um, fish things like that here's a juice and a coffee station back here so one again this view right here i think it's on 66th floor and it's 360 uh, degree okay and it is so so spacious and it is so beautiful you can sit here you can enjoy the beautiful view uh, look at the whole city of saigon so by the way this hotel is very centrally located in bintan district which is very centrally downtown area of saigon sorry i want to get back to the the national uh, noodle dupe the noodle dish uh, of vietnam which is called pho so there is the restaurant um uh, on the top floor i think it's 70 some floor uh, you don't have to be a guest meaning you don't have to stay here but you could die here on the you know on that high very high uh, uh, floor uh to to die here and one bowl of the soup uh they serve here a 40 us dollar it's very big though and it's so with wagyu uh beef which is a very high quality beef from japan um yeah so actually this is the second day that we uh of the breakfast over here and i want to show it to you again because um they saw uh you know some of variety too not uh the same like the soup that we just showed yesterday they have pho which is the vietnam national dish but today they serve that uh bung cha hanoi which is the the noodle dish from hanoi uh, style okay uh, so next i'm going to uh, show you the club lounge and things like that and this section right here yesterday i think they had some sticky rice and porridge today they had the korean um, rice dish um, right there 
Okay. Um, so you know how you know the feeling like when you stay in a hotel for like a week, or even you go cruise uh, ship for a week and they serve the same food every day. People get bored. And here we only stay for two days, and the food here is different. Uh, some of the dish are the same, but majority of the main dish are different. And for that reason, you get you don't get bored with eating the food here at all. Okay. Uh, right now, so I'm taking you to the club lounge, which is on the 71st floor. All right. So for this club lounge, they open from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. Um, so from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., you could have breakfast here. So it's the same selection. Well, it's the same breakfast, but I think they have fewer option or a smaller scale uh, so for that reason we you know decide to eat um upstairs not upstairs but you know downstairs on the 66th floor where it's open to all guests this one only open if you are married bon void member it's one of the part uh, to be a member of the married bon void you had the uh, the privilege to um to die here at the executive lounge here too so the breakfast they open from 6 a.m to 10 p.m i mean 6 a.m to 10 a.m and from 2 p.m to uh, 5 p.m they have a tea uh time they sell you know sweets you know small items sweet items or sandwich and things like that uh, with tea so right now it's around 2 to 30 and I'm going to show you again so this uh, club lounge once again on 71st floor it's only 270 degree view not uh, not a 360 degree view the other side I think it's a conference uh, for conference uh, section okay um, and then from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. they change to more a savory uh, uh, you know uh, food at the uh, at, at this uh, executive lounge in a little bit I will show it to you what kind of food they serve here at the executive lounge it's very very spacious over here there's a lot of seatings over here Right, so once again, there is a tea time at the executive lounge. They open from two um, to five. So to be honest, Phil and I we stay here for two days, and we've been in Saigon before. To be honest, there's not a lot of sightseeing or things to do. I mean, there's things to do, but once you do, you don't once you don't want to do again, and it's very hot in the summer, so we just stay inside. You know, enjoy the food the amenities that this hotel offer. We didn't even step outside. You don't have to spend any money to eat at all because normally I don't eat breakfast. I follow that 16 slash 8, right? I fast for 16 hours. I only eat for 8 hours from noon into 8 p.m. Like multiple meals, like lunch, and then a happy hour, and then dinner, and that's it. So, but when I'm traveling, I, you know, I change a little bit. So I eat late breakfast, and then around 2 o'clock, we come here for the tea time. About 6 p.m. or 5 p.m., that's when I eat dinner, which i also eating over here. Okay. All right. So that's what we have for tea time. All right. So this is, the, again, the club lounge, exactly lounge. And this is about 5 o'clock. Okay. That's one again. It's on the 71st floor. So once again, you have to be a member of the Mary Bonvoy to have, uh, um, you know, access to this executive lounge. If you just pay cash, you know, without being associated with the Merit Bonvoy, you do not have access to this executive lounge. All right. So now from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., they have more uh, food selection. It's all you can eat once again. So here is the very nice selection of the salad. They have both the Western and also the Asian salad here. And they have the, some kind of bread or something like that on the other side. This is a very exotic, nice uh, seafood salad. The shrimp salad 
with the, the lotus stem and here's the cheese selection and the fruit selection over here and the cake and the sweet dessert on this side and this is the food they serve at the exactly lounge I mean it's a lot of food selection I've been traveling a lot with exactly lounge they do not serve this much of food and a little bit later on I will show you they also have all you can drink complimentary uh, beer cocktail and liquors and all the liquor options here are top shelf we do not drink we socially drink so we do not drink much we just have a couple cocktails and wine all right so here is the soup and the hot station over here and it has some kind of fried fish and fried shrimp and chicken there is amazing selection of food and the food here is very very high quality also and look at this i never seen they have a lobster stew so this is the curry uh, lobster stew and the big too big crab lobster and they serve and that is the beef stew and this is the national dish again the fur the uh, fur uh, national dish back there they had the uh, the cold jumbo shri uh, shrimp cocktail shrimp all right it is amazing it is amazing so we stay here we don't have to go out and eat we just eat here for high quality food or you can drink um i think few have a, just a mocktail which is not uh, you know like a virgin cocktail drinks all right so this is the second day that we come back i want to come back here to show it to you again they're changing up we only stay here for two days and i show you already the breakfast they change um uh, the a sun dish and here the salad even a different they're not the same they had a cold cut meat section on the other side so a majority of the uh, the food here they're changing and even on the dessert they're changing too uh, it's amazing even the food selection they're changing so they're not the same every day so if you stay here for the whole week or even longer you could be assured that you eat the different kind of food every day so you could see that they have spring roll fried egg rolls and things like that and the bola love which is the beef that they grew in the beetle leaf and that is the beef stew feel is love that dish and it's different every day and the, the customer service here is just so amazing here too they actually wait on you the the exactly large service somewhere else when we you go there you know you you, you just basically you eat and you know that's it and you you get up and you go and here they wait on you they check on you they make sure you're okay and when i eat that shrimp that cocktail they bring out a bowl of the uh, the lemon water for me to rinse my hand. I will show that to you just a little bit. And that is the bar uh, selection. I want to show you the list of the cocktail they have. So once again, we're not a heavy drinker, but if you drink a lot, you come here, all you can drink, and they make it for you right in front for you with all the shop uh, top shelf uh, alcohol all right to be honest with all the food and all the cocktail alone it's so worth it to stay here even if for the cash that you pay 280 us dollar and believe me it's not the highest uh, price uh, hotel here in um, in Saigon the other hotel that is more expensive which is called the Park Hyatt I think it's 450 US dollar a night and I don't think they have this kind of service a kind of food selection here or the beautiful view like this <laughs> I told you that tonight is our last night here at this and he cried all right you see that i just i just finished that um that shrimp cocktail and look at that they bring me a bowl of the fresh uh warm lemon water bowls i could 
wash my hands so I get rid of that seafood smell on my hands. That is how like upscale, outstanding, amazing customer service and beautiful view at night time. All right, and now I want to take you to uh, the amenities of the hotel here. So here is the gym. It's decent size, and look at this. They have free nutrition bar. Very upscale. Uh, we did not exercise. We tried to go swimming. However, that day the swimming pool, the water filter system is uh, has some issues, so they didn't feel safe for us to swim. So we did not swim. But that is the swimming pool, infinity swimming pool overlook of the city. And in here, like I told you before, the first five floor includes all the malls with high ends and also many restaurant um, in here to uh, a lot of high-end uh, restaurant here from Asia cuisine into Western and also um, cuisine all around the world that is the Korean barbecue uh, restaurant over here at the of that Vincom uh, uh, hotel of the Lemo 81 and here is the nighttime view from our hotel all right so that is come to the end that is all of this hotel is about so it's again so this, it was the tallest uh, building in Southeast Asia uh, from 2018 until 2023 and 2023 Modica 118 from uh, KL Malaysia become the tallest uh, now in Southeast Asia uh, which is I think the current height of Modica I think it's uh, 600 maybe uh, yeah 680 meters and it's also the second tallest uh, building in the world after the Burj uh, in Dubai which is like 800 um, 30 meter tall and this um, luxury um, Lemo 81 here, I think it's the 18 tallest building in the world. Alright, so once again, uh, whenever we travel to Saigon, we love to stay here uh, for the value. The uh, You know, I mentioned already, not super too expensive. But if you had the merit born boy, I would strongly recommend use the points. Uh, the points is that you pay in cash because it's only like $22,000 per night. Uh, that we pay for instead of two hundred eighty dollar cash per night. Uh, Sometimes you know that twenty two thousand you could get a very like cheap generic, uh, you know, like courtyard or something like that in the U.S. or something like that. Sometimes the courtyard it melts like thirty thousand point, but here you could get a five stars with a very amazing, beautiful view and also. Um, uh, what is it called the executive lounge the breakfast I is show you I'm ready all right so I hope you enjoyed the video um, I will see you next time uh, I will do some more travel video for you um, or whenever I travel around you know the country or around different country you know if I see something that I like I will share it to you you know I we do not take any money or anything you know compensation anything from this hotel i just love it i think it's a great hotel great service and a great value so I strongly recommend it if you have come to saigon have an opportunity have a chance if you could do it stay here all right take care bye bye talk to you later